Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of rectifier, its types and its comparison. Let's start with the definition of rectifier. It is an electronic device which converts bidirectional AC voltage into unidirectional voltage signal using one or more PN junction diodes. This unidirectional voltage signal can also be represented as pulsating DC voltage. So here the rectifier is mainly used to convert bidirectional AC voltage into pulsating DC voltage. Okay. The next one is types of rectifiers based on the period of conduction of the circuit. Rectifiers can be classified into half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier. Let's discuss each type here. Let's start with this half wave rectifier. In this half wave rectifier, we are going to use only one PN junction diode. It converts AC voltage into a pulsating DC voltage using only one PN junction diode. This is the circuit diagram. The input is given to the primary of this transformer. Here we are using step down transformer. Okay. So here we are using AC input signal. During this positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased because here it is positive. Whenever the positive input is given, both are positive. That means forward biased. If the diode is forward biased, then it starts conducting the current through this load. Correct? Then we can get the output as such like the input. During the negative half cycle, it is negative, here it is positive. Then the diode is reverse biased. That means it does not conduct. There is no output across this load resistor. So here we cannot get any output during the negative half cycle. It can suppress the negative half cycles. It can allow only the positive half cycles. Okay. So here we can get the pulsating DC output. So why do we say this as a DC? Because it is only the unidirectional with some AC content. Okay. Next advantages of half wave rectifier. The circuit is very simple and easy to design. It's a low cost circuit because it uses only one diode. Correct. There are some disadvantages. Its efficiency is very low. The maximum efficiency is 40.6 percentage. It has very high ripple factor. What does mean by this ripple? Ripple means the unwanted AC component present in the DC output. So it has very high ripple factor. So we need to eliminate this ripple factor. Correct. So next one is low transformer utilization factor. So we need to utilize the maximum efficiency of the transformer but this half wave rectifier is having the low transformer utilization factor. Okay. Next full wave rectifier. In this full wave rectifier two PN junction diodes are used to convert AC voltage into a pulsating DC voltage signal. Center tab transformer is mainly used to provide the proper input voltages to this D1 and D2. During the positive half cycle of the input AC signal, this D1 is forward biased, this D2 is reverse biased. Hence, D1 starts conducting the current. Correct? We can get the output during this positive half cycle. During the negative half cycle, here D1 is reverse biased, D2 is forward biased. Hence, this D2 starts conducting, we can get the output even during the negative half cycle. This full wave rectifier conducts during both the positive and negative half cycles of the AC input signals. Do you all understand this concept? Hence, it is called as full wave rectifier. Okay. So, next, the advantages of full wave rectifier its efficiency is higher than the half wave rectifier. Its maximum efficiency is 81.2 percentage. It reduces the ripple factor. So here its value is very less. 
compared with the half wave rectifier here the utilization factor is higher than the half wave rectifier it is around 69.3 percentage okay but it has some disadvantages its size is larger and costlier due to center tap transformer okay next one is bridge rectifier so it is also a type of full wave rectifier without using center tap the transformer here we are going to use four diodes which are connected to form a bridge okay so there is no center tap the transformer in this circuit but we are going to make the circuit to conduct for both positive and negative half cycles of the input signal so here this is the bridge circuit during the positive half cycle here the diodes d1 and d3 both are forward biased d2 and d4 are reverse biased so we can get the output across this load resistor during the negative half cycles here d2 and d4 are forward biased d1 and d3 are reverse biased due to this d2 we can get the output across this load resistor so here the circuit can convert the ac input signal into a dc signal for both positive and negative half cycles of the ac input signal okay here ac input signal is applied to the diagonally opposite ends of the bridge load is connected between the other two ends of the bridge circuit to get the full output do you all understand the circuit so next advantages of this bridge rectifier no center tap the transformer is used in the circuit it has very high transformer utilization factor it can be mainly used for high voltage applications its efficiency is very high it is 81.2 percentage the major disadvantage is it is having four diodes okay next we are going to compare half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier half wave rectifier conducts only during positive half cycles of the ac input signal full wave rectifier conducts during both positive and negative half cycles of ac input signal bridge rectifier is similar to this full wave rectifier okay it can also conduct during both positive and negative half cycles okay here only one pn junction diode is used for full wave two diodes are used for bridge rectifier four diodes are used center tap the transformer is not required for this half wave rectifier center tap the transformer is used in this full wave rectifier no center tap the transformer in bridge rectifier so here the efficiency of half wave rectifier is only 40.6 percentage for this full wave rectifier is 81.2 percentage for this bridge rectifier is also 81.2 percentage okay so next ripple factor so ripple factor means the unwanted ac component present in the dc output here its value is very high okay that is 1.21 in terms of percentage we can say 121 percentage of ac component present in the dc output okay so here it is not practically used so here in this full wave rectifier only 48 percentage of ac component is present similarly for this bridge rectifier 48 percentage is present in the output so next peak inverse voltage rating for this half wave rectifier is only the maximum voltage vm for this full wave its value is 2 vm so it is the major drawback over here for bridge rectifier it, it is only next the peak inverse voltage rating for this half wave rectifier is the maximum voltage vm for this full wave rectifier its value is 2 vm for this bridge rectifier its value is only vm okay next the transformer utilization factor for this half wave rectifier it is only 28.7 percentage for this full wave its value is 69.3 percentage for this bridge rectifier 81.2 percentage transformer is utilized so it is widely used in many real time applications okay so next output frequency here it is only f here it is two times the frequency operating frequency 
here it is also a 2 times the operating frequency. Form factor value is 1.57, 1.11, 1.11. Next the peak factor is 2 square root 2, here it is square root 2. The output signal can be represented like this. So here half wave rectifier can conduct only during the positive half cycles. Here it can conduct for both positive and negative half cycles of the input signal. Here also the same. The last one is applications of the rectifiers. Half wave rectifiers are mainly used in pulse circuits, signal demodulation circuit. It can be used as a detector in radio circuits. Okay. Here this full wave rectifier with center tap to transformer can be used in charger circuits, UPS that is uninterrupted power supply circuits and inverter circuits for rectification purpose, LED TVs etc. Okay. So the next one is bridge rectifier. So it is widely used in high voltage applications especially in power supply circuits, UPS, LED circuits etc. Okay.